What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Naked Gardener channel. In this video, we're gonna show you different organic pesticides that you can use in your garden. Now, the reason for this video is we're part of a lot of different Facebook gardening groups and we've been noticing a lot of cutworms and different types of worm are actually attacking some pepper plants for the first time. Normally it's like some grasshoppers or some leaf miners or things of that nature. We're going to show you some organic pesticides that you can use to get rid of some of those pesky pests. These two organic pesticides are our tried and true what we started off when we did our container garden. The first one is pure neem oil. The reason why you want the pure neem oil and not the extract neem oil, the pure cold pressed neem oil will have the active ingredient that will help kill off and fight off those soft body insects like your, your aphids, your mealyworms, uh, sometimes even your uh, leaf miners and things of that nature. So uh, we're going to show you an easy way to make a neem oil solution to help fight off of those pesky insects. First, what we're going to use, we're going to have a application. You could use a one gallon sprayer, two gallon sprayer, or even one of these or something of this nature. Uh, we're going to fill this up with some water. Uh, we're going to put a teaspoon of the neem oil. Now, what you want to do is make sure you read the directions of your neem oil that you have. For the simple fact, uh, you have our climate and our temperature and things that we use. We have tested this out and tried it out for at least 24 hours before and then adjusted uh, from there before we actually even uh, did this for a routine. And really we don't have any aphids right now, uh, but this is still a good preventative me uh, measure to, to help make sure that you don't. So I'm gonna add a teaspoon and then I'm gonna add some water. If you don't have a problem, you want to use this routine about once every seven to 10 days. If you have a big infestation of those soft bugs, you want to do it every day for about seven to 10 days, then back off of that from once you start seeing the, the bugs dying down and not an issue, go into your once a week or 10 days, every 10 days. Now, we're gonna add a surfactant, which is basically a dish soap. You can use Dawn or whatever dish soap that you want to use. Since we're organic, we're going to use a non-dye, non-perfume uh, whatsoever in, in the, uh, as our surfactant. And you want to use the same amount that you put for your, your neem oil. With any pesticide, whether it's organic or not, you want to do it in the evening, especially with neem oil. Use your neem oil solution in the evening time because it is an oil, especially during the summertime. It will act as suntan lotion for your plant leaves and will dry out and get burnt and you don't want that. So what, this is a perfect time. The sun is down, it's nice and cool. The, all the uh, beneficial bugs are away. So we're just, even though we're just gonna mostly spray it on our leaves, we wanna make sure you get the underside of the leaves and on top of the leaves. So we're gonna go pump this up. We're gonna make sure we give this a good mix. We want the, the dish soap and the neem oil to be mixed up and you want to mix it up every time you go to a different plant when you're spraying. You want to avoid the flowers. Now, with the neem oil, it's good for about four, four, anywhere from four hours to 48 hours, depending on how potent you make your solution. So uh, the reason why you want to almost spray almost every day if you have a bad infestation, but once a week will be fine. This is our watermelon plant from the seeds that we got from Jess from Roots of Refuge. We saved the seeds from last year. And as you can see, it looks like we have some um, bite marks here. We had some good rainy season uh, earlier and we got some leaf miner damage right here and right there. So we're going to do a inspection. We got some bugs right there. So you wanna check all on the back of your leaves. We got some more 
uh, little grasshoppers or something like that on here chewing up on the leaves. So what we're, we're gonna mess up their life cycle and digestive system by spraying the leaves. So that way when they eat on the leaves, it messes up their stomach and, kill, and basically starves them to death. And as you can see, it's harmless. You don't have to worry about wearing gloves because it is organic. There's actually some condition, you can use some of this neem oil as a conditioner. What kind of conditioner? For your hair. It's a nice looking watermelon. I know, look at that baby. So we definitely want to protect this plant. That's how you do that. Let's show you how to do the BT spray. So now we're going to show you how to use the BT spray. Now with the BT, it's mostly for caterpillars, worm type uh, insects that's chewing on your plants, especially like your uh, tomato horn worm, your tobacco worm, things of that nature, even cut worms. So once again, you do the same thing. You put a tablespoon uh, worth into a gallon, what we normally do. But right now we're just going to use a teaspoon. And this is basically a good bacteria to where you, once you spray it on the leaves and the caterpillars, uh, the cutworms, once they start chewing on those uh, leaves, it messes up their uh, digestive systems and basically kills them off. We're going to fill this up with water. And then we'll add our surfactant. And the reason why you want to add your surfactant later on, because if you add the dish soap now and you try to put water in, it's going to just foam up. Then we just shake it up. And we'll go over to the pepper plants and spray. If y'all watch one of our videos where we did the container experiment and we noticed a few pests uh, eating on the leaves. So we're gonna concentrate on these right now. Uh, we're just gonna do a gently spray. We're gonna cut, make sure we cover the front and underneath the uh, leaves. The backside of the leaves is where most of the insects hide at because they want to Make sure to get away from uh, different types of predators, especially like birds and other insects that cause them harm. So that's the reason why you want to spray on the underside of them. Today, one of my friends was looking for advice on earwigs. Uh, earwigs aren't bad. Uh, it's pe an excessive amount. Yeah, just like roly-polies. They're, they're good in... Uh, compost because they eat decaying uh, matter which they exist if it's a like a good compost oh yeah I mean even in our our verma compost thing we got a lot of earwigs and roly-polies in there so and I just let them stay in there I was telling her sluggo plus might oh yeah be helpful. sluggo plus is a good I don't have to spray that much on that one, huh? Sluggo Plus is a good organic uh, pesticide. And it's also, once it breaks down, it will act as a fertilizer. It has a, uh, what do they call it? Cyano or something like that. We'll put a description uh, on the screen to, of the fertilizer at, when it turns into. Look like we got some nutrition deficiency right here. Some disease right there. We'll just take that off to make sure that energy is not on the plant to help fight disease and sick, sickly little plants. And look at the basil plants. It's getting attacked by but look at these peppers. I keep seeing little holes in the leaves. Yeah. Is that cutworms? Cutworms, uh, different types of bugs, 
Maybe grasshoppers. I see lots of grasshoppers. Yeah. I think that's why the neighbor ducks like to be in our yard. That's why we're going to make sure we get these on the right path of healthiness. What are some organic methods that you use in your garden? Comment down below and let us know. Well, we hope you like this video. If so, make sure you give us a thumbs up. It really helps our channel out. And if you're new to the channel and would like to be part of our family, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to see other pest control videos that we have done, we'll put the playlist on the side for you to follow along. Until the next video, let's grow together.